The final large update for this Fortnite season is here, and we're covering everything that's new. There's actually a lot more changes in game than people realize, but the biggest secrets we're going to be talking about include leaks for not only skins, end of season live event, but also huge teasers from Fortnite themselves about what's going to be happening within the next season. And yes, we're also going to be talking about the black hole. This black hole centers into several days of not being able to play Fortnite. Make sure it doesn't return. Hit the thumbs up button within the next five seconds but I don't want to scare you, there's a good chance it will return. Stick around in this video to find out more. And the first thing you'll notice it's changed a lot is this. Clicking the mode selection tool will take us to a brand new screen where everything is laid out very differently. There's a heavy focus here on merging creative with our typical battle royale modes, as you can see along here. Solos, duos, trios, and then all your other modes like creative, team rumble, battle labs, and some of the most popular creative maps in the world are all being displayed in one place. You can still access everything as normal. The layout's just a little bit different, and Fortnite said they're going to be tweaking this and refining this over time. There's also some big map changes as well, but before we do that, let's see if I've missed anything in the item store, because the new leak skins have tons of secrets within them. Don't forget to pop in code Allier. It disappears every two weeks to pop it back in to be in my videos like these guys. Thank you, everyone. It looks like I've missed out on Mike Lowry, aka Will Smith himself. Why not equip them as well? Scrolling all the way to the bottom, we can see a new item here, the Crew Legacy Set. If we check out the trailer, we can actually see that this is something that will be evolving and unlocking over time, the longer that you're actually a part of the Crew Membership Scheme. The more months that you're an active member, the more unlocks you'll get for it. In the middle of each month, you'll unlock different versions and styles for the back bling, and eventually you'll pick axes as well. It's essentially an incentive to stay a crew member in Fortnite as long as possible. Oh, what? It actually displays like your banner icon. Okay, now that is a lot cooler than I first realized. It's got loads of customization options. Ho oh ho! Yeah, no, this, this is this is sick. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here. All of the leaked skins with this update have huge implications for the end of season and next season. Just to show you guys that I'm not lying, take a look at this skin on screen here. This is the Elite Trespasser. The Trespasser for this Fortnite season is basically the guys that jump off those UFOs every time you try and shoot them down, but this version, he's elite. Taking a closer look at him, you can see he not only glows purple, but his armor includes the runes that we have seen from Kevin the Cube itself. This is huge. Last week, we did the legendary challenges, which confirmed that actually Kevin the Cube is made of a substance that's really originally from the alien world. This also completely backs up that theory, and we've been waiting for a long time now for Kevin the Cube to return, and I'm betting a million V-Bucks for all of you guys that he will be returning this season, or maybe right at the end leading into the next. This is another big teaser for it happening. The skins only get cooler, including a Brainstorm skin. Suited and booted from the neck downwards, and a brain and eyes inside a box from the neck upwards. This, I just think, is an incredibly cool skin, and I can't wait to be walking around as a floating brain in a box. How cool is that? A huge congratulations to Darje Cat, who's got this incredible joy concept skin and emote and loading screen come into the Fortnite store as well. You can see the concept on screen here and it's now made it in game. It's incredible to see Fortnite skin concepts make it from community to creation into Fortnite. I mean, it's almost at the level of an icon skin to be honest with you. So huge congratulations, that's amazing. With a new FNCS competition comes a new limited time FNCS skin. So make sure you pick this up during the next FNCS period because it will then leave the store. And look, I know Ant-Man is quite an old collab at this point but he's now getting his own emote. Yes, that's right. Ant-Man, his flying ant, his little olive pickaxe is now going to be getting the ability to fly on the ant, just like we've seen in the films, as his own emote as well. This is meant to happen when the skin originally launched, but for whatever reason got massively delayed. So this is going to be a really cool emote to pick up in the store. Now, the biggest and most impactful skin on the end of his season and leading into the next is this one on screen here called Kura's Echo. Do you you recognize this skin. I'm not going to blame you if you don't, but she is hugely important as to what Fortnite are planning in the future. Not only does she look really cool and she gives me kind of like Egyptian -y vibes, which we've been talking a lot about for the next Fortnite season, but she is actually directly taken from the Unreal 5 engine demo. 
For those of you guys that don't know, Fortnite is currently running on Unreal Engine 4. Epic Games make this engine and it's part of the reason that Fortnite runs so smoothly. Fortnite is developed and built on an engine all owned by Epic Games, but they plan on moving Fortnite onto Unreal Engine 5 in the very near future. It will not only make the game look more incredible, it will allow for modding, it will allow for a ton of new options within Fortnite creative mode, it will basically be a completely improved version of Fortnite. But this skin is in this demo for Unreal Engine 5. That's right, look at them, they're exactly the same character. Now this means two huge things. One, we're hopefully a lot closer to Fortnite moving over to Unreal Engine 5, but two, the area that she's in, in this demo, is in the desert. It's in an incredible building, and it's in an area that we've been talking about coming to the next season of Fortnite. It's pyramids, it's desert, it's sand. It's an area we've always wanted to see in Fortnite, and she's right there in this demo, and she's coming to the game. This isn't the only hint and teaser as to what will be coming next season, because another new loading screen, which yes, is very inspired by Mad Max, which is all about crazy cars racing around in the desert, which this is obviously inspired by, but look, this is literally Fortnite in the desert with new cars in chapter two. Chapter two doesn't have any sand or desert on it at the moment. This is literally confirming the leaks that pyramids and sands are coming in the next Fortnite season, which just gets me so excited. Now to work out where this new area will be arriving, we can see a Fortnite building in the background sucked up by all of this deserty area. There's also a huge map change with this Fortnite update that could be the new location we'll see next season. Now to work out which area of this Fortnite map is gonna change the most, we should should be following the UFO. This place has gone ahead and abducted Slurpy Coral and it's making its way over to the final destination that we know to be Corny Complex over here. This giant thing has a few more secrets up its sleeve to finish off this season, no doubt, but if we head on over, the abduction hasn't quite happened yet. Just like the other abductions, it will happen in three stages where it will start to get abducted, lifted higher and higher, and eventually this area will be lifted inside the mothership. Now look at this. If we land at the barn here i'm hearing rumors but i need to check that dr sloan is no longer in corny complex now we did this mission last week and put the bomb inside of corny complex if you have not watched that video the information that the legendary challenges are currently giving us is absolutely huge this bomb right here was right here and we took all of the alien energy or alien artifacts known as the cube basically is what we recognize it as put it inside this bomb and it's been planted within the inside side of the imagined order base underneath corny complex ready for it to get abducted it's clear that dr sloan knows this is going to get abducted next because she has left and his mothership is making its way over right now in fact i don't know if i'm chatting rubbish but the inside even looks a little bit open on screen here we can see what the elevated and lifted parts of corny complex will look like and the crazy thing is there isn't one, there is multiple of these bombs placed all over the underside of Corny Complex. This is going to cause a huge explosion, and this explosion is going to happen within the mothership itself, and that in itself is going to cause a lot of destruction. This is, of course, where Corny Complex is going to get lifted inside. We can see a little bit inside it right now, but I actually have a far better shot. But you can see here, this is literally the inside of the mothership and also look at this swirl as well this design and stylization we've seen before in massive portals within fortnite and it could be a good chance that this would be related to the end of season event maybe even will get sucked up inside it as well thanks to mango on twitter he's found a new file in game called big portal currently not being used but it matches up very similarly with what we're seeing inside the mothership right now it also has the effect shockwave on it as well. And we know that we're waiting for the cube to appear back on the Fortnite map with the inside of the mothership about to suck in all of these bombs that we've created in Corny Complex. We can see the mothership firing the cube back out of inside the mothership thanks to this new portal event landing on the island ready to roam free in the next Fortnite season. 
Slurpy Swamp is now called Sludgy Swamp. And if it was any area of this map that I think is going to get changed a lot, I'd say Coal Castle, since it basically doesn't exist now. Potentially the bottom left corner, just because of how much empty land here, is my two biggest bets as to where this mothership in the sky will land and cause the most destruction. And one of these areas will also be turned into complete desert area as well, with the pyramids leaks that we've been talking about so often. But that's not all. This Fortnite season is set to end on a Sunday and that's not very usual and thanks to some leaks that we found close your ears now if you don't want to hear them it seems that we're going to be going straight from the live event on the Sunday into downtime now included alongside that as well night night mode has been re-added this is what happened the last time we got the black hole yeah remember when all the servers were off all of that time looks like that's going to be happening again and they're going to be reusing this ability to take the servers offline as soon as the event finishes we could be in downtime for another one, two days even, ready for the new season to kick off. Normally, the new seasons do start on a Tuesday. So if we do see Monday being completely blacked out with the black hole returning yet again, I think that's a fairly safe bet. Look, keep on hitting the like button and maybe we'll be able to make it not happen. You never know. It's safe to say that the destruction and the live event itself, which I'll be streaming here on the channel, make sure you're subscribed, is going to have huge effects to the Fortnite world. And I cannot wait to see what we jump into when the new season starts. Turn a little bit of information. For all of you that stuck around to the end, a little bit of bonus. Fort bite sounds have also been re-added. Now, we haven't heard these things for many, many a seasons. Chapter 1, Season 9 to be specific. The potential return of these, or maybe just the reusing of the audio lines in the live event or something Fortnite related, is definitely going to be happening. And the last time the Fort bites were included in Fortnite, Jonesy went ahead and pretty much drew everything that was going to happen in the future of Fortnite on one damn wall. So if that happens again, we're about to get a lot more Fortnite secrets. Secrets, that's for sure. Guys, get ready for this event. Make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to get all the official Allie merch. You can head on over to Allie.shop. Link in the description. I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the end of this season. It's going to be huge. And it's extremely close now as well. More videos on screen here. Click another one to keep on watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh boy, the hype levels are real.